And staying with East Africa, Ethiopia has announced the completion of Africa's largest dam. But this dam has been at the center of a long-running geopolitical rift in the region. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed said on Thursday that the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or the uh, GERD, is now complete. In East Africa, a monumental vision is rising from Ethiopia's rugged landscape, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or GERD. This $5 billion hydroelectric project is Africa's largest, straddling the mighty Blue Nile and promising to transform the region's energy future. For generations, the Blue Nile's power flowed north, largely untapped by Ethiopia, the source of over 80% of its waters. GERD is Ethiopia's bold move to harness this force, aiming to double the nation's electricity output and light up millions of homes. The dam's vast reservoir can hold 74 billion cubic meters of water, fueling turbines that will generate over 5,000 megawatts of clean energy. More than just infrastructure, GERD is a symbol of hope, progress, and African self-reliance. Today, in July 2025, the dam is operational, a reality forged through years of technical and political challenges. Its completion marks a shift from energy poverty to the potential of becoming a regional power hub. The journey has tested Ethiopia's resolve, but the turbines are turning and a new era has begun. GERD stands as a beacon of what's possible when vision meets determination. It is the embodiment of modern Ethiopia's aspirations and a powerful symbol of Africa's rise. GERD is an engineering marvel, towering 145 meters high and stretching 1,800 meters across the Blue Nile in Ethiopia's Benishangul Gumuz region. Its roller compacted concrete wall holds back a reservoir covering 1,800 square kilometers enough water to power the dam's 13 massive turbines. The dam's two power stations will double Ethiopia's electricity capacity, providing reliable power to homes, schools, and industries. GERD's ambition extends beyond Ethiopia, surplus electricity will be exported to neighbors like Sudan, Djibouti, and Kenya, fostering regional integration. This is about more than selling power, it's about building partnerships and strengthening East Africa's economic ties. The project is designed to last generations, reshaping the continent's energy landscape. GERD is not just a national project, it's a cornerstone for a more connected and prosperous Africa. It stands as proof that African resources can fuel African growth. The GERD's journey began in April 2011 when Ethiopia laid its foundation stone and launched a decade-long construction effort. Thousands of workers toiled day and night overcoming immense technical and logistical challenges. Key milestones included diverting the Blue Nile in 2013 and carefully filling the reservoir in stages, despite regional tensions. In February 2022, the first turbines began generating electricity, a turning point for Ethiopia's energy future. By mid-2025, the dam reached full operational capacity, with all turbines coming online. The project's completion marks not just the end of construction but the start of a new era, powered by the Blue Nile. GERD is a testament to national perseverance and ambition. GERD's impact is immediate and profound. Ethiopia is on the brink of universal electricity access for the first time. For over 60 million Ethiopians, this means lights at night, refrigeration and power for businesses and schools. Reliable, affordable electricity will drive industrialization, attract investment and create jobs, moving Ethiopia beyond its agricultural roots. GERD's clean, renewable energy places Ethiopia at the forefront of Africa's green development. The dam's vision is pan-African. Surplus power will be exported, creating a web of regional interdependence and stability. For neighbors, it means cheaper, more reliable energy to fuel their own growth. GERD is more than megawatts. It's a symbol of African innovation and self-reliance. It challenges the narrative of scarcity, showing that Africa can solve its own challenges. By lighting up homes and industries, GERD is illuminating a brighter future for the continent. The dam's true power lies in its ability to transform lives and inspire hope. GERD's most remarkable feature isn't just its size, it's how Ethiopia funded it. With little international support, Ethiopia turned inward, raising nearly $5 billion through government bonds and contributions from citizens at home and abroad. This grassroots effort united Ethiopians across divides, making the dam a symbol of national pride and collective achievement. Civil servants, farmers and students all invested in the project, often sacrificing personal savings for a shared dream. GERD became more than infrastructure, it was a declaration of self-reliance and independence.
every milestone was celebrated as a national victory, reinforcing unity and purpose. The dam now stands as a monument to the will and resilience of the Ethiopian people. It's a testament to what can be achieved when a nation believes in itself. Gerd's legacy is not just power, but a renewed sense of national identity. While Gerd is a source of pride for Ethiopia, it has sparked anxiety downstream, especially in Egypt and Sudan. Egypt, reliant on the Nile for nearly all its fresh water, fears the dam could threaten its lifeline during reservoir filling and droughts. Years of tense negotiations have failed to produce a binding agreement on water management. Ethiopia insists on its right to develop, while Egypt and Sudan demand guarantees for their water security. Unilateral actions like Ethiopia's reservoir filling have heightened mistrust and drawn international concern. Environmental worries also loom, as the dam could alter the Nile's ecosystem and reduce fertile silt downstream. The African Union and UN have tried to mediate, but a lasting solution remains elusive. GERD's future depends on balancing national ambitions with regional cooperation. GERD stands at a crossroads. Its promise is immense, but so are the risks if regional tensions persist. The dam can power development, lift millions from poverty and drive Africa's clean energy future. But true success requires turning conflict into cooperation. The Nile must be managed as a shared resource with fair binding agreements on water use and dam operations. Collaboration could bring benefits to all. Regulated water flow, reduced flooding, and access to affordable electricity. By sharing data and managing droughts together, Ethiopia, Sudan and Egypt can unlock prosperity impossible in isolation. GERD could become the foundation of a new, integrated Nile Basin economy. The story's ending depends on the choices of these nations' leaders. With dialogue and compromise, GERD can be a beacon of hope and progress for all of Africa. The river that connects them can also unite them in a shared future.